it by Friday. And this is the central bank official rate. We also know that this is not the actual rate that actually Kenyans are spending when they go to buy the dollar. You promised that the government to government deal would fix this problem. Has it failed? And if so, what really happened? Let me tell you, my brother, if I hadn't structured the G2G deal, the dollar today maybe would be at 250. That's how serious it would be. Why? Because the US Fed kept on increasing their interest rates. And you know very well that we can do the things we have done as Kenya, but we are also subject to the global economy. The G2G deal has worked. If we hadn't experienced an increase in the Fed, the dollar would be at 120 today. But because they kept on increasing the uh, US exchange rate, our exchange rate, if we hadn't done the G2G uh, transaction, if we were still going to the market to look for $500 million, 60 billion Kenyan shillings every month. And in fact, many banks, by the way, were waiting for the dollar to be at 200. Yeah, they will have to wait for a while because we have done things that nobody expected would be done. And we have managed to make sure that although things are not going the way we had planned, but they haven't gone overboard. Mr. President, um, when did the US Fed begin raising the interest rates? Maybe, maybe two years ago, immediately after the serious uh, the COVID situation. That is when they began to, to Meaning increase. Meaning they were already doing this by the time of your election? They, but they were not at 5.2. No, no, I'm, I'm just asking. Yeah, they had in begun. Terms of what was happening. They had begun. I ask that because in April this year, that's yeah. when the government to government deal started. Correct. And I remember your deputy, Gadi Gashagwa, saying that um, those people that have dollars in their houses, it is time to sell because yes. you're just about to suffer loss. Yes. Yourself, you said that you see it going below 120. Correct. 115 dollars even. Correct. So if you have all this information, why then promise something that was also bound to the changes in the global economy? You see, and now you're saying it could have gone up to 200. Which figure do we trust? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, my friend. We live in a, in a, in a global environment. And, and I know you're saying that because uh, when we structured the G2G, many people and, uh, keep saying, but this is what, what's happening in this country. This is what's happening in this country. Fuel today is at diesel 200 shillings, 201 in Kenya. It's exactly the same in our neighboring countries, Tanzania, Uganda. Many people think that fuel in Kenya is artificially managed by government of Kenya. Mr. It is President, not. We'll, we'll come to that. So, so we'll come no, to the that's, I'm just giving you as an example, yeah. because so that you understand mm -hmm. where we are. And I want to say this without fear of any contradiction. If we had not tamed already, we were having stockouts here of fuel because of the lack of dollars. Because all these oil companies were running around. When I came into office, the first people I met were the oil companies. And they told me, look, we, 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 we can't find the dollars. You know, although we are being told uh, dollars is at 120 something, 130, we can't find it. You know, the dollars are not there because the rates were artificial. So we came to this.